Hey guys, um, so a bit of a problem. My car decided to throw an ODB error. So I got an engine warning light on. Um, now there's probably a proper term for it. I don't know what that term is, but there's probably a proper term. And I plugged in a little, uh, plugged in an ODB2 connector uh, with Bluetooth capability. I uh, used an app called Talk, Talk Light, which is free. And it told me that I'm getting a P0102, uh, which is this bad boy here, uh, which is my mass airflow sensor. I've already changed it once, suspect of it. Actually, I bought a cheap one. Buy cheap, buy twice, at least. Um, and also came up with an error, uh, P2002, which turned out to be a particular filter error. Um, being the tight wood that I am, and I don't want to cough up a thousand pound for a, or thereabouts, uh, for an engineer or mechanic rather to do this kind of thing, I thought, you know what? Let's have a look and I'll bring you guys along for the ride. So first things first, multimeter in hand. I'm not a mechanic, or I was a mechanic a lot of years ago. These new engines, I don't really know my way around them too well, so I watched a couple of YouTube vids and take on board what was said. So the diesel particulate filter, from what I understand, gets all this sudden crap out of the exhaust emissions, uh, holds it in there, and then every now and again, your diesel, it will, um, uh, it'll regenerate. And regeneration, basically, from what I understand, is it gets up to about 700 degrees, burns the shit out of the lot, and it's all clean again. Uh, the way it knows what it needs to regenerate is there's a, uh, a, a pipe at either end of the DPF. And then you've got a pressure differential between the, between the two pipes. Okay, so there's a sensor there in between. I measure the pressure at one and pressure at the other. If the pressure is greater at one end than it is at the other, it depends upon the difference. There's obviously going to be a set value. Then, obviously, the DPF is getting get started to get uh, compacted and full. And so then it will go into <laughs> regurgitation mode, so regeneration mode. I believe that sensor is this here. I'll bring you a bit closer. Uh, yeah, so let's make, make sure I've got you in. Mm, close enough, I believe. Yeah, I believe this is Sportage, by the way. Kia Sportage 2009, 2 litre CRDT IDD ZG, one of those ones, quite a nice car. Uh, two wheel drive version, so it's, yes, it's the cheap one. Um, I believe, anyway, I believe that this is the pressure sensor, This because the pipes bugger off down the back somewhere. Um, so there's a bit of guesswork involved. So what we'll have here is we're gonna have a, a VCC positive, a ground and a sense because all this is going to do is going to say um, yes or no one is higher than the other so the first things first I want to check and make sure that all the pipes are well connected and not split because it could be something as stupid as that which is causing it now what as I'm seeing down there and probably you can see as well sorry it's just there, there's alignment marks on the pipes. So has this been off before? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see, I think you can make it out there, yeah. So, you can probably see this better now. Actually, tell you what, I have got a light uh, torch in my pocket. So if I get the torch out, we'll switch the torch on. And we can see them pipes down there disappearing. Everything else looks relatively healthy. And I'm gonna review this footage so that I can see how healthy things are looking. Never doesn't look to be any particular leaks. Interest as to what that is there. Come back. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. That, oh, there we go. So it seems to be coming from the cam cover, or rocker cover or whatever it is. Uh, also notice a little leak just there. So I want to investigate that as to what that's about. Yeah, I'm used to having old cars which just puke oil out everywhere but this is actually looking quite tidy so I'm quite happy with that um, but there does seem to be an excessive amount of fluids down there I don't know whether that is um, just condensation because I've started I've drove it 100 yards over here anyway I'm gonna pause the video now while I get my slim and silk like body underneath and we'll have a look underneath okay guys so this is the underneath of the car um, I've just had a moment of blind panic there because I've just seen, sorry about this, a hole which looks very shiny and that's never a good thing because it would indicate that there was bolts in it and this bracket here does not appear to be fastened to anything so I need to find some drawings 
about what that's about. Is it missing a mountain bracket? I don't know. Definitely missing something. Right, so DPF, diesel particulate filter. Here we go, this is a bad boy. It looks like I thought it was a catalytic converter initially. Um, right, hang on, let's sort this out so we understand. Right, so hopefully you can see that. So these are the pipes I was talking about. They come down in there. And then, so you've got one in the front, and then one in the back. Let's have a look at the back one and inspect. Oh my lordy. So there, my friends, lies the problem. That is why I'm getting here a message. Is this a repairable job? I'm tempted to go up to someone and just say, weld it in, please, governor. Um, but yeah, that's well naked, isn't it? Don't know how long it's been like that. But to me, if I can find someone who's willing to, that will repair. And welcome back to the real world, back on top again. So yeah, I was right. This is the pipes that go to uh, sense the differential and pressure between the front and the back of the odd DPF. Which as I said, I thought was a catalytic converter when I first looked. Now I know it's not. Now I know what the DPF looks like. It's huge. Um, and normally you would just, I say just, somehow, this thing, because I've got some funky ass ideas of clips on these cars, I tell you. Anyway, that will come off there. Uh, or you would manufacture yourself a little test probe, like this, hook it up its, hook it up its butt, and uh, just do your basic tests. And that's how you'll be able to figure out which one's positive, which one's your negative, and which one is your um, uh, sense, which would actually pro probably just be a, an analog signal of sorts. Um, which, when you think about it, you know, I could probably get away with this, block them off. Obviously, don't say where to anyone, block them off, figure out what signal's expected there, inject that signal. Uh, ECU will be happy, as long as I can figure out what signal the ECU is, happy, is expecting on startup. I would imagine it would be uh, expecting a neutral signal because there'd be no pressure to pressure differential. Um, and then, yeah, it's a thought. Do you know what? JB Weld might fix that under there as a temporary measure just to get me on the road. But I'm now on less than a thousand pounds to repair my car, which I am really pleased with. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, but to see what I can do, find something to fix this shit, um, speak to somebody about welding it. Do something. Even if I have to replace these pipes afterwards, I don't care because those pipes are going to be relatively cheap. They're a low pressure pipe, easy replaceable. Job's a good one. Okay, job's not a good one, but job may be done.